The cooperative learning is widely used in schools, but it can be used with all ages and for all subjects. In a cooperative learning classroom, students work together to attain group goal that cannot be obtained by working alone or competitively. In this classroom structure, students discuss subject matter, help each other learn, and provide encouragement for member of the group. This cooperative learning provides opportunities for students to develop skills in group interactions and in working with others that are needed in today's world. There are several methods of cooperative learning that can be used in classrooms. Partners Working with a partner is a structure that can be used for a wide variety of tasks and offers many of the cooperative learning benefits realized when learners work in larger cooperative groups. There are a few benefits of this method including the opportunity to collaborate and develop shared meaning, sharing different perspectives and points of views, expansion of ideas and possibilities, and working to reach consensus. Next is a structured problem solving. So here, groups are given a problem to solve within a specified time, and all members must agree and all must be able to explain the solution. Next is send a problem. So this can be used as a way to get groups to discuss and review materials or potential solutions to problems related to content information. So this send a problem is more of like a game or a brainstorming and remembering in order to unlock the answer to a certain question. So this, I think, is a fun method since several groups will generate solutions to a problem. So what will happen is groups will generate a problem, write it down outside the folder, and together with the solution written inside the folder. So each group sends its questions cards to another group, and groups will try to answer the problem without reading the solution inside. So once they had their answers, they'll write it down and put it inside the folder and it will be sent back to the original groups. And that's the time they will discuss and clarify the questions. Lastly is the drill review pairs. So this structure is useful for courses that require drill and practice. So here, four students are grouped together as two pairs. So each pair is given two problems to solve. So the two students here has their own roles as an explainer and a checker. So the role of an explainer is the one who will describe on how to do the problem step by step. And the checker is the one who will verify the correctness of the methodology used to solve the problem. After the first problem is completed, the roles switch for the second problem. And after both problems are finished, two pairs of students regroup and review the two problems. And if the four are in agreement, the group forms pairs again and then they continue to solve the problems or more problems and if there is a disagreement, the group reviews the problem and reaches consensus on the solutions to the problem.